This dude is like right on the edge. That's scary. <laughs> Good morning. It's Monday. I have to go check the mileage of the car because I need to see how many miles it has to put on the paperwork. So I have to go downstairs real quick, check out the mileage. Let's go. Oh, I need to get a haircut. Let's do it. Oh, there we go. Good. Done. Let's go. The weather uh, weather screen for the, I think it's CVS here. Yeah, CVS. It's pretty cool. If you want to see what the studio looks like. Studio. I look like a, I'm a reporter here. Oh, there's the weather. Weather watch, guys. Weather watch. <gasps> Sneak peek on weather. It's an eyeball. I felt something happen at my belt line. I don't know what it is. I think my belt has discombobulated or broken, but I don't want to touch and search like right now in the middle of the street. People are going to think I'm just touching my junk. So, so I got to figure out a way to touch my junk. But not to, not touch my junk. I got to figure out a way to check my belt without making it look like I'm playing with my my meat and two veg. We will see. We'll see how to do this. Jeremy's dad brought the stuff, his like bed and stuff today, so I'm gonna go help him move it in. They might be almost done with it though. Yeah, I'm in the lobby, what's up, man? Yeah, I'm in the lobby. Yes, I'm in the lobby. Yes, I'm in the lobby. Oh, I gotta be really bad. Uh, I gotta check my pants too, see what happened to that belt. I think it just unscrewed. Oh god, it did. Jeez. Loose the screws. This is my homie Daddy. What's up, dude? This is Baba. How you doing, man? Nice to meet you. This is who's having the party I went to. Oh, tight. Yeah. What's up for now? It's just like the TV. I'm probably you should probably hit it harder. Yes, yeah, probably. This is somebody you've never seen before. No. This is my friend named Jeremy. Never seen him before. Never seen him before. Looks like my belt just kind of undid itself. It's like right there. Like this should be connected to this part of the belt right here. Because I was confused. I was like, what happened here? So basically, this metal thing is like just hanging on by itself, I think. Okay, see, so yeah, there you go. <laughs> Come on, Kenneth Cole, you can build better stuff than this. Mm -mm -mm. Grab this card. see her now. Yeah, <laughs> She's gonna be on the 20 minute floor Man. with us. God. Oh my gosh. What do you gotta do? Don't you have to like press like a little code so it that doesn't... That literally the dumbest I've ever seen. <laughs> wow. That's huge actually in, uh, inside. Mm-hmm. I gotta get that king size mattress in It doesn't look that big from the outside, but... No, but inside... That mattress sits in there nicely. All, all kind of stuff we already took out of it. Bring those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I gave this to Jeremy for his birthday or something, like, I don't know how many years ago, so many years ago. A little Tony Montana. A little Scarface. He's so articulate, he's got like, his clothes is like, you know, he can move his hands up and down. He can be like, ah, ah, I'm money, I'm money, what you doing, man? Ah, ah, birthday, yeah, but, it was, it was a while. I was trying to think how long ago it was. Yeah, it was probably like, it was a while. Huh? Huh? It's us. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hey, Jeremy, look, look that way. So you look like you're talking to him. <laughs> Katana. <laughs> you have it in here like Kill Bill, like with the golf clubs. <laughs> yep. You're the only man I ever loved. <laughs> Bill. Go. I only got a minute of footage left. 
He's doing it. E.T., it's working. He's going really far, actually. <laughs> Woo, yeah. This right here is Incatatus. That's the name of our company. Incatatus. Uh. Yo, give me one sentence real quick. Who is Incatatus? Incatatus. One sentence. Emperor Caligula's favorite horse who became the first non-human senator of Rome. One of the quick tidbit about Incatatus. Emperor Caligula was known to be insane and was slowly making people think about eliminating him in a Julius Caesar type of a way. So the last straw was when he walked Incatatus into the Senate and introduced him as the new senator of Rome. Everyone looked at each other. It's like this guy has to go. No one ever knows what happened to Incatatus after the death of Caligula. But it's been rumored that he continued living in his golden stable, eating little pieces of gold and hay, and lived on forever. Amen. That could be the false punishment. <laughs> place called Devil Dogs because they have devilish dogs burgers hot dogs and other types of hot dogs and eggs and hot dogs and accoutrement and sauces and such and shakes apparently too so we're gonna see how they are this pineapple shape is enormous it's bigger than my hand it's like the size of my forearm mm -hmm. it is thick this is thick straw too. I know. That's really good. You saw like this only in Chicago. I never saw it. Right. <laughs> right, right. It's pretty good actually. I got a pineapple one and it's really good. It definitely has pineapple in it. figure out where the light switch is for this place. <laughs> the most elusive light switch ever. Cleaning in the dark. I have no problem with that. Even this TV is huge. Is this like an 85 inch and the other one's just like 90 inch? I don't know. This is David for scale. Look at this crazy view. This crazy view. Lovely, lovely, lovely. That burger, it was small but it was filling. So. Small, you're going down, Linda. It was small but filling, so not bad, not bad, not bad. Devil dogs. I'm gonna go get Hiromi now, so I'm in the South Loop. It'll take about 15 minutes to walk to her job, and then we'll walk, walk home. The majority of the streets are dead here. There's like some people walking around and stuff like that, but not much beyond that going on. It's very, very quiet, very simple. It's kind of nice though. It's a big change from how it usually is during the daytime compared to right now. I've been to the top of this building, the Chase Tower. It's got an amazing view. 65th floor, I believe it is. Awesome view. Yeah.